All right, I want to talk about a scouting method that at least I have certainly underutilized in Football Manager. And I've been experimenting with it, and I've been experimenting with how to use it. So I want to talk about this underutilized scouting method and how I have been able to make it work to find really good youngsters in FM24. And that scouting method is using team reports to scout mass amounts of young players to narrow down who you might want to think about signing. And I had seen team reports used by other people. I've seen it on Football Manager threads, but I never really figured out how to use it myself. So I've been experimenting with team reports in FM24. And this is how you actually do a team report. You go to the team that you want to scout. So theoretically here, I could go to Man City and you would just go to team report. And for me, I like to use it on youth squads. So you could go to the U18 squad and you could just say, I want the team depth chart or I want a scout report. And you can go in, you can assign a scout to it, assign someone you trust, and they will help you get that team report. So this is how you do it. But I've always looked at it and thought, how does this really work? How can I use it to good effect? So I think the best way to use team reports is to combine this with other methods for finding obscure wonder kids so that we can get information on mass amounts of people. So I'm going to show you how I do that now. So the way that I think we can best use team reports is by targeting the best youth academies in the world where I feel like I could potentially sign those youngsters. So this is how we do this. We go to our world search, we go to world, and we go to our club list. And once we get to the club list, we can then sort by youth academy. Theoretically, you could also sort this by possibly youth graduates as well, because then you can find out how many graduates are in the top divisions. Um, and that'll give you a good indication of the number of youngsters they're producing. But I like to go to Youth Academy because then we have the star rating. So then I sort by Youth Academy. Man City has the best Youth Academy in the world. I don't feel super confident about being able to sign Manchester City's youngsters, but I might go to Red Bull Salzburg, Benfica, Sporting CP, Ajax, River Plate, PSV. So I'll go to those clubs. So for example here, I'll go to PSV. I'll go to Team Reports, U18 Squad, and I'll get a scout report on the team. We'll start off from David Trezeguet. So I'll do that with PSV, and then I'll just go through and do this with other clubs. Now I'll do this with Rens. I'll go to their U19 Squad. I'll get a scout report again from David Trezeguet. You might want to actually split this up among your scouts, though, so it happens a little bit quicker. So if we go to Team Reports here, now if I want a scout report, maybe I'll get this from Jose Boto. And I'll just keep going like that for a huge number of teams and teams that I know have good youth academies. I'll do this for their U19s or maybe their even U21 squads. And now I will get lots of information about those clubs and those players. And now we're about approximately a week later and we've got reports on Man City's under 18s, PSV's under 18s, Rennes under 19s, and River Plate's under 20 team. So in about a week, we were able to get reports on four teams with lots of players in them, when in that time you probably wouldn't be able to get those numbers just from scouting individual players. So now we can look at those scouting reports and say, do we want to sign any of those players? So this is how you sift through all of that information. So when you get the inbox item, I like to go to team report and then under team reports for that squad, I like to go to the team depth chart. And this is where you can do some really interesting things. So first you have current abilities compared to your own players. I think this is great because if you see a young player who has a high current ability compared to your players, well, that's going to be a good indication they're pretty good. So we have some players here, like Spike Britz is pretty close to Bazunu here. He's a 17-year-old goalkeeper who honestly looks pretty good. Maybe he's someone I'd want to look at. Similarly, there are other players with one and a half star capabilities. I can click on them and say, all right, does their current ability seem to match what my scouts are saying? Do I like them? Do I think they're going to be good? Like this guy at 17 years old, 
looks like the beginnings of a decent striker. So I'm looking at this and I'm now eyeing and saying, okay, there are some players here who I might want to look at. But there is more information here. And I think the best bit of information is check out the potential abilities compared to Southampton's players. This is compared to your own team. I can look at this and say, oh, wow, this guy here, Timothy McLaughlin, has some serious, wow, he's good. He has some serious potential compared to the rest of my team. He's got four to five star potential. He's now a very good player. I wouldn't have signed other, I wouldn't have looked at potentially otherwise. He's got decent current ability, decent potential ability. He looks pretty good. He's someone I might want to look at. So that's how I would do it. But that, of course, is Manchester City, who I might have more knowledge about. They're in my league, and I probably couldn't sign their players. But other teams like PSV, Ren, and River are teams that I might look at signing, or players from teams that I might look at signing. So I can do the same thing. I can go to their team depth chart, and I'm seeing similar things here. We got this guy who has a very good current ability compared to my players. And if I look at the potential ability, he looks pretty decent. Could be three and a half stars. So if I look at Jason Van Duiven, he actually looks really good at 19 years old. He's got some decent potential. He has the makings of a decent player. He's someone I might look at scouting further now that I have, but I have this information on him. This guy here, Ty Goland. Looks very good for an 18-year-old. He might be someone I look at signing, and he's got decent potential as well. And you can just go through this and do this for all these teams. So I have this for PSV. I can go back to my inbox items, and now I can look at this for rents. I'll go to their team report. I'll go to the U19 squad. I'll go to the team depth chart. And now let's look at current abilities. Is there anyone who really stands out? This guy, Dua, stands out. At just 19 years old, he's already three to three and a half. He's really good, actually. There's no way I'm going to be able to sign him. He's way too expensive. But you could do this all day. Go to the potential abilities. And there are tons. There's, you know, this guy here, Ron. Wow. He's phenomenal for his age. 16 years old at 12 million with potentially this amazing potential ability. He might be someone I look at signing. And they have a lot of players here who look like they could be worth signing. And then finally, that's Renz and River, who might be more. There's, you know, this is from a league that I don't have loaded, so there's not a whole lot of news to pass on. But you can still go to River Under 20s. I've still got that team depth chart, and I can look at who they have. And it looks like their main player is Paz. So I'll look at him. He looks pretty good. He's a bit slow, so I probably wouldn't want to sign him. But he's got pretty good potential ability. Maybe not enough for me to really take a hard look at him. He's got decent current ability. So maybe I'd put him on a maybe short list. But again, we got all this information on four youth teams with tons of players in them very quickly. And I've already identified five, six players who I might want to scout further, add to a long-term shortlist, and potentially look at signing. So overall, that's it. It's a method that I don't think I've utilized enough, but I'm using a lot more in FM 2024 to some really good results. And just by going through, going to the world, looking up youth academies, and going through, getting team reports on these youth academies throughout the year, and just identifying players who, compared to my team, have good potential ability. And I can just go about that way to get wonder kids and, and continue to improve the squad. So that's all I've got. Just a quick video on a method of scouting that I think is underutilized, but I think could be really helpful for you all to potentially find wonder kids and help improve your squad. Sometimes scouting can be a bit slow. I think this helps it to go much faster. And helps to give you a list of players who you might potentially want to sign. So that's all I've got. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.